This video covers the process of taking a print made with an inkjet printer and transferring it to linoleum. The technique works best if you use an image with high contrast so that the blacks are darker. Cut your print out before proceeding to the next step. I will be using wood glue to adhere the print to my block. Dilute the glue with just enough water that it brushes on easily. Apply the glue evenly over the surface of the block. This method of transfer is ideal for images generated on the computer, but also works well for scan drawings like the one I'm using. Images transferred in this way don't smear or lift off when you go to cut the plate. While the glue is wet, place your image on the block, printed side down. Smooth out the paper so you have good contact. You can use your hands for smaller blocks like this, but for larger ones I would use a credit card to scrape out the air bubbles. Before weighting your block, lay down a piece of wax paper to protect whatever you plan to set on top. I use textbooks. Cover the block and allow it to dry. You can find the minimum dry time on the back of your glue bottle, but I usually let it sit overnight. Once dry, remove the weight and the wax paper. Next, use a damp cloth to gently rub the back of the paper. Don't scrub too aggressively. Allow the water to do its work and lift the paper, leaving the ink behind on your block. The paper will come off in little crumbles like this. If you look at the holly leaf in the corner, you can see I lost some information. I'll just draw that back in with pencil. The image on the plate is the reverse of what I drew. It will flip again when I print. Text should always appear reversed on your plate. At this point, the block is ready to cut. If you are unhappy with how your image transferred, you can apply a little water and sand the image off. I'm using the same 150 grit I used when I initially sanded the block in the first place. At this point, we still haven't altered the surface of the linoleum in any permanent way, 